money at gambling? Yeah. Winning money? No. I'm not good at gambling. I tried counting cards. I keep getting 52. <laughs> you know what I saw here in Vegas? I saw a transvestite walk into a woman's bathroom. That takes balls. <laughs> I'm not gay myself. I do have one thing in common though with gay guys. We have the same amount of sex with women. <laughs> you know, they say if you were to take all the gay guys in Las Vegas and lay them end to end, that it wouldn't be the first time. It'd be the 11th time. You know what I saw in Vegas when I first moved here? Evil Knievel. We were walking past the fountains at Caesar's Palace late one night, and he tried to jump me. <laughs> have you been to the fancy pool parties? They have the pool parties? They have a naked one, you know. They have a naked pool party. I got arrested there this summer. You know what they tried to charge me with? They tried to charge me with putting on my sunscreen too fast. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to explain that to you people? Because I'm not here. I'm not here for me. I've heard them all. I was whacking it on the beach. Do you get it? Sunscreen is too fast. It's a topical joke. No topical shit for you people. Come on. How many women think all men are pigs? Let me see a show of Hooters. How come you call a driver that gets in a lot of wrecks a reckless driver? <laughs> Words are crazy, aren't they? How come when you turn your how come when your alarm goes off you have to turn it off? <laughs> the alarm's going off, go turn it off. The other day I had to take my pants in to have them taken out. <laughs> How come some things burn up and other things burn down? That's crazy, isn't it? It's like, hey mom, where's all those old pictures of grandma? Oh, they all burned up when the house burned down. <laughs> I watched TV and I saw a show the other day on Discovery Channel called Locked Up Abroad. Yeah, who hasn't done that? <laughs> I saw a show on A&E, a documentary. A guy got stabbed in the heart, and he lived, and he was fine. It missed everything, and they interviewed him, and you know what he said? He said, I am the luckiest man in the world. That's what he said. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking, what about all of us people who never got stabbed in the heart? Where do we fit on your little fantasy graph? All us people without knives sticking out of our hearts, where should we go on that little luck chart of yours? Luck chart? Hey everybody, I just got stabbed in the heart. Lucky. You lucky. How come Pete gets to get stabbed in the heart? This is bullshit. Been here a year longer than Pete. I saw a TV commercial for an indestructible razor blade. Lifetime guarantee. The only razor you will ever need, they say. But order now and we'll send you another one. <laughs> you said I didn't need another one. Why don't you charge me half and send me that one? I saw a commercial today. It was for an Asian buckwheat pillow. That's stupid. Buckwheat wasn't Asian. <laughs> Hey, can I try some new jokes on you? Yeah. I got about eight new jokes I gotta got remember. You know, they say there's no such thing, you know, you've heard of a double negative, right? Somebody told me there's no such thing as a double positive. Yeah, right. <laughs> I couldn't keep my eyes off the woman at the construction site. She was riveting. <laughs> When the New Jersey Nets moved to Brooklyn, they had to get new jerseys. I have a great 
idea for a perpetual motion machine, and I can't stop thinking about it. I came up with a great name for a country rapper, Kanye Twitty. I figured out how they came up with the order for LGBT. I think they arm wrestled for it. My old school R&B station is sending me mixed signals. I don't know if I should get down on it or get up off of that thing. My nephew spent the summer at a memory camp to learn how to do better in school. I guess they couldn't call it concentration camp, huh? Oh, too soon? Jesus. And finally, in my day, a selfie was something you did in the bathroom with the door locked. Thank you very much.